listen. It's it's like, oh, math, 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 math because he's got a free will to write what he wants. Each one, wants of the, each one of the, the books in the Bible was written by man. But he never says, man. I'm inspired by God, Mark. Inspired by God. Where do the words come from? Who told you that the inspired by God? Who told you that the writers of the Gospels were inspired by God? Who told you that, Daniel? No, who told you the writers of the Gospels? I'm going to try to explain to you the best way that I can. Have you read the book of Timothy, this is a Timothy. Yeah, Go on. In his writing down what the ancient who, who tells told, him who to told, write you, who down. Who told you that, that, that Ma Muhammad was speaking to that, him? That doesn't answer right. It's the same thing, isn't it? Daniel no. is writing yes, it is. down what the angel tells him to write down. Sorry. And he Sorry. says Sorry. to the angel, I don't understand any of this. And the angel says to him, right. don't worry about understanding. Right. Write down what I tell you. Right. Now, does that sound like that's the work of Daniel? No, 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 no. So you're saying that a, uh, an angel... It was the medium. <laughs> All right, so an angel dictated to Daniel. That wasn't my question. Who told you the authors of the Gospels were inspired by God? That's what I asked. Are you talking about Matthew, Mark, Luke and John, yeah? Yeah. 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 Well, because that was a testimony by four people as to what they saw. No, no. All right. So... Right? Now, God is not going to interfere. There's no need for him. He's, he's, not, he's letting those men give their true testimony. Okay. So you believe the authors of the Gospels were there? I'm sorry? You believe the authors of the Gospels oh, were there? Yes. Well, that's what it seems like to me, yes. Well, forget opinion and subjective opinion and feelings. I'm on about facts here. I believe that. Well, what's the you believe it? Why do you believe that? that? Why, why is there a problem with that? No, why do you believe I, that? I believe it. Oh. Because according to biblical scholarship, it, they, they weren't. According to some of the Bible scholars... Well, and me. Huh? Tell what what difference does it make, any case? Okay, the difference what it makes, if you're claiming someone's an eyewitness, yet they weren't there, then they're not eyewitness. So oh, what well, they're... Well, clearly, yeah. Right. Yeah, there, then that destroys his argument, saying they're writing what they're seeing, because they're not there. But all of them, oh. jumping, I don't then, know, I, when did you say it was written down? Did say that? I'm, look, I'm asking a simple question here, man. You oh. said, look, your stance was this. The four Gospels were written oh, by men who wrote what they saw. Yes. Yes. Well, quite, 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 I like no, a confrontation. I could see this man likes confrontation. you are being confrontated. There's no need to be confrontation. Yeah, I like a confrontation. You what you believe. Just to find the ah, but what we believe can't be reconciled. That's the problem. Well, they can be. Of course it can they be can't reconciled. can't be reconciled. You can believe whatever you want no, to believe. No, but There's reconciliation I'll tell you why there can't be reconciliation for it. Okay. I'll be interested. All right, all right. Why can't it be reconciled? I'll, accept, I'll explain it to you. We believe what we believe, yeah. yeah, due to our salvation. What we believe will be our salvation, right? So as a Christian... That doesn't make sense. That, uh, that sentence makes no sense. Okay, as a Christian, you have to believe Jesus died for your sins. To, you know, as a Christian, but, you don't have to believe anything. Well, you choose to believe what you believe. Uh, how do you define Christianity? Oh, you to, huh? I, 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 I didn't Christian find Christianity. Belief, well, you can't make it your own rules, can you? Huh? The, Christianity is defined by rules, isn't oh, it? Yeah, I, 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 I don't have to know anything about Christianity to know that you can believe what you want to believe. All right, you can believe. Yes, exactly. You can I don't need to be have a religion. But you can't claim what your belief is Christianity if it doesn't conform to Christianity, obviously. Yes. Yes. Well, who said it didn't? <laughs> yeah. Well, no, well, you're trying to say you're a Christian, yet what you believe doesn't oh, no, conform no, to no, Orthodox when Christianity. Did say, when did I say I was a Christian? No, but, but two things. First of all, I was talking to him, who is a Christian. Right? Yeah. If you want me to deal with whatever you believe, I have to. Well, I can actually, do that. I was talking to him, and you came in in the middle. Well, no, you were discussing. I think you reconciled it because you said I've reconciled it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm that, and then I said to him. It was me that, And then I said to him. You're an awful man for not getting facts right. I was talking to him. I didn't interrupt you. Who was, you talk, who was talking to my brother? Let's, let's, let's be clear you were talking to him. Before, yeah, but let's be, look, look, you've got to be quite factual about, about very simple things. Right. You can't have any kind okay. of conversation at all if you can't even get a simple You do know where you are in this. I was talking all right, all right, all right. You were talking to him. And you interrupted Did you not just say you'd, you'd sort it out? We are, but we're still talking, aren't we? We're right. still talking. Oh, 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 okay. Don't say I'm interrupting you, because that would be silly, wouldn't it? And clearly. I wasn't talking to you. I know that's my very. Had point. your conversation not finished? You said I interrupted you. No, it hadn't. No, because we'd started the conversation. Talking, so you did we? interrupt. Oh, if we're still talking. Anyway, I'm interested in the semantics. Well, so, so as a Christian, as a that's Christian, a your salvation is so based on. Let me, to be yeah, clear, right? When you, don't, you have when, to believe when you don't agree with Jesus. something someone is saying, you say, I'm not talking to you. That's a very yes. weird right. way to, uh, uh, to have a thank discussion. You. Best of luck with that. Right. So your salvation is based on the belief that God is a Trinity. God is a Trinity. I didn't say that, did Do you it? believe God is a trinity? No. So you believe God is one? No, I believe that there's God and there's Jesus Christ. Yes. And do you believe Jesus is I don't God? I believe in the Catholic Church's... Uh, no, no. Do you believe Jesus is God? No. You don't believe Jesus is God? Jesus was certainly not... Jesus Christ and God are two different... Alhamdulillah. Sorry? Uh, praise be to God, you've said that. <laughs> at, le at least we'll take you out of one camp, which is fantastic. So you believe God is one, and Jesus was a prophet of God, of course. and the Holy Spirit is? Well, the Holy Spirit is something that uh, emanates from God. So it's part of God. 
Well, distinct from God or part of God? Well, I don't know. I've never thought about no, it. I'm just talking about what you believe. I'm not, you don't have to know it, just what you believe. Based on what you've read, what you've ser- what you've been taught, what you've heard. The Holy Spirit is something that emanates from God. I, don't, I can't say anything more than that. Perhaps it's because I don't know. So, <laughs> I've never really thought about so it. as a Christian, then you wouldn't define yourself as a uh, Church of England Christian, then? Uh, no, I wouldn't have anything to do. Would with you say more Unitarian? Religion. Sorry. Would you say more Unitarian? No, I would say that uh, I believe in what's written in the Bible. So whatever you category that puts me into, you tell me. Well, no, because, because I can't find a church out there that represents my beliefs. That's fantastic. So you're probably not even a Christian. No, I'm a Christian. Well, not really. I don't believe those churches out there. But are Christian. we just explained to this gentleman who just left is that uh, Christianity is defined by Orthodox Christianity and what it teaches. So, no, for example, I Christianity, the, the organised religion, is a totally separate thing from the Bible. The, the so, how do you understand the Bible? Then? How do I understand it? Yeah. Well, it's uh, just a story of the creation of the people of Israel right through Adam and Eve and following their, uh, what happens to them and uh, what goes on from there, Jesus Christ being born and dying and his legacy to the world and prophecy and what is going on in the world today which I can see in the Bible, every page that I read about prophecy I can refer to it in the modern world today. So so you're kind of with me right now then, so in the Bible you don't see Jesus being God? Jesus is not God obviously. Well no it's not obvious because Christians do believe Jesus is God. There are people, I I can't understand why they believe that. Most Christians here will believe Jesus is God. I can't understand why they can believe that a man who's dying on the cross and says, why hast thou forsaken me? Who he really thought they think he was talking to. Right. So if Jesus wasn't God, what does how does him dying absolve you from do you believe that absolves you from sin? Yes. Why? Well because God sent Jesus Christ for that as a sacrifice. So he sent a man, not a God, man. Jesus Christ was more than just a man, obviously. Right, right. right. So, he so why, why, why this to... man? What, what, what's so special about this man? See, Christianity believes. Well, for a mistake, he'll walk on water, which is something neither us can do. Nah, forget the miracles. Um, I don't really want to forget them. Do you? I, have, I have no problem with the miracles. Why uh, so we forget them? Because it's not. You're we, asking we, me why I, I think he's not just. So, because he walked on water, him dying for your sins, it doesn't correlate. I believe he walked on water. I have no issue with that. I'm a Muslim. We believe Jesus was a mighty prophet of God. Yes. What you believe about Jesus, I believe about Jesus. The only, di- the only difference is we don't believe he died for our sins. Okay. Right. Now, you said you read the Bible. Yes. So how do you understand the Bible where God says you only need to repent for forgiveness of sin? How do you understand the Bible then? Same Bible where God says just turn away from your wickedness. Yes. Yeah. And uh, follow my statutes and sin will not be your downfall. So God, God has given you a way out of sin by repenting. And staying away from doing bad things. Yes. As, a, as I believe as a Muslim. Yes. Ezekiel. All right. How do you understand that? How do you reconcile that then with needing a blood sacrifice? Because Jesus Christ is the answer to all these problems. How? How? Because it's him you turn to to escape the temptations in life. I turn to things that will. You turn to Jesus? Sorry? You turn to Jesus? Yes. In what way? I don't get that. How does Jesus help in that matter? Prayer, for example. Well, you pray to Jesus? Yes, of course. Why do you pray to Jesus if you're just a man? Because that's what the Bible instructs me to do. Where? Uh, I couldn't tell you. Didn't Jesus tell you to pray to the Father? Sorry? Didn't Jesus tell you to pray to the Father? No, the only way to God through prayer is through Jesus Christ. So how do you understand when Jesus, let me show you how to pray. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us his death. Our Father, which art in heaven, not Jesus. Jesus never said pray to me, did he? No, that is the prayer, yes. So if the if so what I'm saying to you, you're basing what you believe right now from what you read in the Bible. Yes. And when you read in the Bible, Jesus is telling you to pray to the Father. Yeah? And yet you're now saying no, you pray Jesus, to Jesus no. The instruction in the Bible is to pray. If you want to reach the Father, you have to can only do it through Jesus Christ. Right, so what was the Lord's Prayer again? So you just recited it to So who so who'd you pray to? Sorry? So who'd you pray to? Well, that, you can interpret that prayer with reference to God, if you like. Well, who else could it be? Our Father. How many yes. fathers are there? Yes, I agree with it. Hallowed be thy name. Okay. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Whose will? Yes. Right, Hamdur. Whose kingdom? Well, it's God's kingdom. Right, so where in the Bible did Jesus say, pray to me? No, that is the instruction in the Bible, that you have to pray through Jesus Christ. Where did Jesus, where did Jesus say to pray to him, to get to God? 
I'm not sure it's Jesus Christ that said that. So Jesus didn't say that? Well, I'm not sure. But Jesus did say, pray to the Father. I don't know about that. Well, just quote the Lord's Prayer. Well, I don't know about that. If, he, if, he said, if that is the Lord's Prayer is instructed in the Bible. I'm not sure. Where I thought Lord you read the Bible. Sorry? I thought you do read the Bible. I have read the Bible. I've never read the Bible from start to finish. I've read selected parts of it. Do you know the Lord's Prayer in the Bible? Sorry? Do you know the Lord's Prayer in the Bible? Uh, when Jesus says to his disciples, let me teach you how to pray. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yes. And then he recites the Lord's Prayer. And that's Jesus talking. Okay. I'm going to be honest with you, yeah? I, I, I feel I'm going to... This is no disrespect to you, and don't take this wrong when I say this. I feel like I'm kicking a puppy here. I, I, this is going to be too much for you. Really? You, th you think so? Well, I, I don't get that impression I, I, at all. I, th I think so. I, I think because there's... you don't know your Bible. That's a problem. Well, you might know. And you've yeah, just I said... Know. You just said... Here's the problem you've got, you see. You said you follow the Bible, yet you've not read it. You've said you pray to Jesus where Jesus says pray to the Father. So it's two contradictions straight I away. No, I haven't read the Bible from start to You don't have to read it from start to finish. Right. Just read the bit where Jesus says, let me show you how to pray. That would help. Yes. Yeah? And when Jesus tells you how to pray, and yet you're doing a different way that Jesus didn't teach you how to pray, my question has to be, if you're following the Bible, why are you not going with what Jesus said and going with what somebody else said? Because, as I understand it, the Bible instructs... But well, you just say you haven't read it. Sorry? You say you haven't read the Lord's Prayer in the Bible. No, I don't remember, remember reading that in the Bible, the Lord's Prayer in the Bible. I right. I don't remember reading it. Right. This is what I'm saying to you. So I'm trying to speak to you about things that are facts within your scripture and you, yes. you don't know your scripture. And I've, 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 it's, it's like a mismatch. And I...